Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rochah HaKodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the heavenly father's true name in ancient Hebrew, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the power of the Israelites. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So uh, this is, uh, you know, just a, a quick um, video, all right? Um, this video gave me the inspiration to do this lesson on the vanity, all right, of the ungodly, all right? The, the, the vain uh, thoughts, all right, and the vain um, uh, eyes of, you know, these people that... Um, you know, specifically that are here in Babylon, but, you know, really throughout the world and their visions of uh, of what they see happening, you know, are wanting to happen in the future. You know, and the thing is, you know, uh, the brothers and the sisters that are of the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we are, <clears throat> we, we aligned or conformed our minds unto the will of the Most High, as it is written in um, Romans, the 12th chapter. All right, so... We understand and know that the counsel and the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is what's going to what is what is going to stand and what is going to come to pass. And you know we know that if we are you know trusting in Him and we have uh, you know faith in Him that we will be good in the in in the times to come. All right, the Lord will keep us you know from you know all per perils and uh, persecution and afflictions. But a lot of these people, which you're going to see right here, they have uh, vain hopes. All right. They have their their eyes see um, uh, uh, vanity. When you go into the word vanity means, uh, you know, empty or useless. So um, a couple of days ago, you had uh, New Yorkers say, quote, unquote, good riddance to 2020 as if, you know, this year is behind them. All right. And the in the evil Okay, or you know, bad things that happen, you know, to them, you know, individually and collectively to happen to this world is something that is going to be left in 2020. Um, so they're saying goodbye to 2020 and welcoming 2021, you know, with open arms, but through their vain imaginations. All right, because we are, we know that we are in the times of the end. All right, we're in the times of the wrath of the Heavenly Father, the visitation of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai upon the earth which he which he has made. And we know those that visitation comes with punishments, it comes with destruction, it comes with famine, it comes with death, it comes with sorrow, anguish upon the wicked, you know, upon the evil, upon the ones that have forsaken the Most High and the ones who live ungodly, all right, and abominable, all right, and uh, do according to the to the things that are against the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So yeah, they can have this um, good riddance day, <laughs> but rea in reality, what is going to come upon them is going to be even more evil, all right? What they're welcoming, they're, they're, they're trying to leave the bad, all right? But what they're running to, they're trying to run from the bad, all right? But they're, what they're running, you know, towards is more evil, all right? And actually, there's a scripture, you know, I just thought about um, that uh, says this. So let me pull that up real quick before I actually play the um, play the video in the book of uh, Amos. Is that Amos 5. Okay, this is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse uh, 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. To what end is it for you? Okay, and you have a lot of these people that claim to love the Lord with their mouth in, the, in their heart, but their heart is far from them. All right, a lot of people, you know, they say uh, uh, that they're Bible believers. All right, that that they, um, you know, uh, you know, can't wait until who they call Jesus, Jesus Christ to come back. However, 
they don't do any of the things that the son of God, because his name is not Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, but they don't do anything, any of the things that the son of the most high, all right, uh, commanded them to do while he was on the earth. All right. He said, what? If you love me, keep my commandments. So it is the scriptures right here says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what it to what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. You see, now we are, we are you know, entering, or uh, we should say that we are in, okay, the, the, the days, all right, of Yahweh Shai, the days that Yahweh Shai will return because the disciples asked Yahweh Shai for a sign or what would be the sign of the end of the world and in his, uh, in his coming. And he gave them clues, all right, tokens, signs to what life would be like you know, leading up to his return, all right, leading up to his day. So he said what? There will be wars, rumors of wars, famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, you just had an earthquake in Croatia, which was, they said that it was uh, the largest earthquake in history, all right, recorded history to ever hit that place. Okay, uh, uh, the love of many waxing cold, all right, so on and so forth. So these things that we're seeing right now are signs, tokens of the day of Yahweh Shai, meaning what? All right, in the day of, of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is darkness and not light. All right. So it says it's going to be as if a man did flee from a lion. So they're trying to flee, saying good riddance to 2020. All right. Fleeing from the lion of 2021, I mean, of, of 2020, and a bear met him. So you're fleeing from one danger, trying to leave this, this year, but you're going to be met next year by even more and harsher danger. All right, it says, or went into the house. All right, so now you try to flee 2000 and, you know, try to flee the bear. You try to flee the the, the destruction or, or the woes or the distress or the tribulation of 2021 by going into a house. Now, that house can be equivalent to, let's say, running down to Egypt for help. Because as we see things, you know, uh, in 2020 shaping up in 2021, where a lot of people are going to, you know, that great reset that they're trying to do, the New World Order, a lot of people are going to think going down to the government, Egypt, all right, uh, going down to the beast, you know, for help is going to be their aid, all right? So running into the house of uh, of Babylon, all right, the house of Egypt, when the scripture tells you that the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a strong tower, the righteous went into it and is safe. But a lot of people, because of their own vain opinions, they're going to run into the house of Esau, the house of, of, of the wicked. And what's going to happen? And lean his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Okay? So you're going to lean your hand upon a staff. All right, there's actually a scripture that says that. Lean lean your, uh, lean your hand upon the staff of uh, Egypt. All right, and, and what's going to happen? It's actually going to be even a more uh, a detriment unto you. The book of Isaiah, chapter 36, verse 6. Lo, thou trusteth in a staff of a broken reed on Egypt. All right. And this place, as it is written in the book of Revelation, is um, called spiritual Sodom in Egypt. It says, wherein, whereon, if a man lean. Okay. So you're going to lean, like we just read, you're going to lean your hand upon that wall. You're going to lean your hand upon the staff of Egypt. It will go, th go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. So you run into that house trusting in, you know, because of the hell, the more hell that came in 2021. So you run into the house of Egypt, all right, the house of bondage, all right, trusting in the, the shadow of Egypt, all right, going into that house thinking you're safe. So you lean your hand and that serpent bitch bites you, all right, uh, uh, that, that reed, that broken reed goes into your hand, hand and pierce it, you know, so. Hey, and we see, you know, that whole piercing can go into what? That uh that mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, which in order to get that, in order to receive that, they have to pierce your uh your hand or your forehead, you pierce your skin. Okay. So that's where that serpent, you know, uh that serpent bites you, man. And who is that that great that old dragon? All right, that serpent. All right, Esau eat him, that venom. All right, that Esau going that's good, that he's going, you know, bite you with. It's going to be that chip, man. All right. So you thinking that you're running away from 2020, as we're going to see here, but you're going to run into actual more hell and more destruction. And ultimately, 
trusting in that trusting in that house of, of, of Egypt, but that serpent is in there and he's gonna bite you. All right. So let's play this. See this uh, see their vain <laughs> their vain imaginations. It's time for a new year, it's time no judgments. It's time for a new year, it's time no judgments. All the it's time for a new year, it's time no judgments. All now that's interesting that he said that, okay, because that's a part of what the Lord is bringing, man. They're thinking that 2021 is going to be a year of no judgment. However, it's going to be a year of more judgment, all right? A year of more uh, hell. Because as, as we read before, or what I said, what that it is even it's going it's not a time of uh, where the Lord shall begin to visit the earth which He made, all right? Judgment is going to be put forth. Righteous judgment is going to be put forth on the earth, man. And all you that do wickedly, all you that uh uh, uh actually you know Salakia, because I actually have scriptures lined up, but the spirit is just leading me. So you know you don't go against the spirit. Malachi chapter four, verse one, it says, "For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud." Yeah, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So these people, the wicked don't want judgment, man. Okay? They don't want the judgment because they know that their judgment is 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 uh, going to be according to their works. And their works are what? Evil. Their works are wicked. But it says, yeah, that day is coming. So you thinking that you're leaving 2020 to go forth into uh, you know, a, a, a year or a time of no judgment, you actually are going... To a time of of the final judgment, it says, "And all that do wickedly shall be uh, shall be stubble." And <clears throat> excuse me, it says, "And the day that cometh shall burn them up," saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear the name, fear my name, okay. And who is that? The ones that think upon His name, that believe, and that run to His name for refuge and aid, which is Yahweh, in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. All right, shall the shall the Son of Righteous arise with healing in His wings, and ye shall go forth and grow as calves in the stall. Okay, so that is what's coming. The judgment is actually coming, man. All right, it's not going to be a time of no judgment. But let me uh, let me just play this throughout. Start from the beginning again. It's time for a new year. It's time. No judgments. All those things going into 2021. Planet Fitness sent us this pinata so we can smash away 2020. Five, four, three, two, one. And uh, we're saying good riddance to the fact that we had to cancel our honeymoon in uh, 2020. What a great thing to say goodbye to. Throw that in the shredder. Christian, looking forward to a healthier lifestyle this yep. year. Um, being broke. Violence on the streets. And, and there, I think those are great things. Yep. Throw them in the shredder. Let's get rid of them. Yep. Goodbye. goodbye. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Want to know where to invest $1,000 right now? Okay, Hi, so. we're more with the Motley Fool. Mm -hmm. And if you Pause know us. So there you go, man. All, all these people with their vain imagination. So let's get into these scriptures that speaks about that. Uh, Job, it's, uh, the book of Job, the 11th chapter, verse uh, 20, it says, But the eyes of the wicked shall fail, and they shall not escape, and their hope shall be as, as the giving up of the ghost. Okay? So their hope is going to be basically uh, as uh, uh, synonymous with death, man. Okay? Their eyes, you know, when you see eyes, when you speak about, you know, your eyes, your eyes gives you a vision, the, a, the ability to see. So it's metaphorically speaking, you know, what they see in the future, what they, what they, you know, envision in the future, these, the wicked is going to fail. Okay. It's not going to be something of, you know, a better time and, a, and a, you know, uh, uh, they got through 2020 and 2021 is going to present them with prosperity and liberty and happiness and a time of no judgment. No, it said you're not going to escape, man. You're not going to escape the judgment that the Lord has set forth for this place. All right. And we are in the time of, J uh, uh, I keep saying Jacob Shovel, but yeah, we are in the time of Jacob Shovel. And that is a part of the judgment, man, specifically speaking to you Israelites that do not 
want to repent, that do not hearken unto the voice of your power, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, through the prophets that he have set up. So what, what is left there to do is just the judgment uh, to be brought forth, man, brought forth. Because after the Lord sends, sends the uh, prophets, all right, as it is written in the book of Isaiah, they're, they're sent for a sign. So after that happens, then comes what? Comes the judgment. All right, it's the book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse uh, 27. The fear of Yahweh uh, prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. And as we every day, every minute that, that goes by, it is shortening the uh, the time of the wicked, man. As it is written in the book of Job, that the uh, the triumphing of the wicked is short. 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the ex expectation of the wicked shall perish. All right. Um, so the yeah, the 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 hope of the righteous is going to be a glad gladness. And that's what you know, that's what we are. Uh, that's why you see in the elect. All right. The hopeful elect. we are rejoicing in the times that we that we are watch that we are watching that we're witnessing, you know, even though we know we know that we're going to have to go through the through these straits. All right, through these straight gates. However, we have the trust and faith in the Lord, okay, according to our faith and our works, that the Lord will deliver us. So while everybody else is all sad and depressed and ain't have anxiety, you know, and want to go back to, you know, that their folly, we are rejoicing, man. It says, but the expectation, so what the ex so what these, what the wicked expects is not going to come to fruition. All right, with those people talking about that they are saying good riddance to, they're saying good riddance to those problems, but even worse. Problems are going to compound, you know, in the days to come, man. All right. So next scripture, Job, Job chapter 18, uh, verse five, it says, uh, Salaki verse six says the light, where is that? Salaki verse five. Yeah. It said, yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light, the light shall be dark in his tabernacle, his house and his candle shall be put out with him. So once again, the light, what people, you know, envision, what people, you know, because light represents, you know, knowledge and wisdom. You know, it's, it, it, when you have your lights on, you know, you're alive, you're able to see better. But the Lord is saying what? That light is going to be put out. OK, that that light is going to become a, a dark in your in your tabernacle, in your house. And the scriptures talks about, you know, as a person that, um, you know, uh, uh, gropeth, a blind man gropeth, you know, uh, and uh as in, in noonday, I think it's a, that's actually talking about like how the curses in Deuteronomy 20th chapter. But that's how the, that's how all these people are going to be. All the wicked is going to be, man. OK. Once again, your your visions that you see are all vain, man. And we actually going to get that. Uh, let's get that. Let me see. This one is here in the book of um, Second Ezra, the fifth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah. Second Ezra 5 verse uh, uh, 12. It says at the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtained. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. All right. You know, uh, uh, going back to we, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Nothing is going to prosper in the day in, in the times to come because we are not in the time of Babylon prospering anymore. All right. This place was once a golden city. It was once, you know, the beacon of light, as uh, Ronald Reagan said. Okay, it was once a you know a, 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 a you know this this uh, place of of uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, the American dream. But that that time is done, man. Isaiah forty seven sit in the dust, old virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. So none of the ways of 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 this whole system, Esau's whole world, will prosper, man. Well, this is a time of truth prospering, or right, of faith flourishing, of the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai being put. Uh, uh, you know, as the pinnacle of life, man. And anybody that, that talks against it, anybody that, that speaks against it, or anybody that does anything against the way and the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, only is death, destruction, and anguish to, uh, to you, man. So you can beat up a pinata all you want. You can speak about, <laughs> you know, your, uh, your ambitions and, and getting, saying good riddance to all the hell that you caught this year, but. Understand that something way worse is coming for you in the time in, in the near future, man, in, in the days that are that are approaching. All right, let's get this in the book of Ecclesiasticus. All right, uh chapter three. 
And we'll just go uh, right to the point. Verse 24. It says, for many are deceived by their own vain opinions, opinion, and their evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. All right. A lot of you people are deceived by your own vain opinion. And because you choose not, you know, uh, the you because you chose not the love of the gospel, the love of the truth, because you chose not to uh, repent. And all right. Talking to you Israelites. All right. First and foremost. All right. Really only when it comes to repentance. You know, you chose to do the things where the Lord uh, delighteth not in. So therefore, now you're going to have to reap that which you have sown. You're going to have to pay, you know, uh, uh, for the for the uh, wickedness that you have done throughout all your life while you had liberty, man. Because you, uh, you uh, uh, as it is written in the second edge of the ninth chapter, you know, you uh, uh, loathed his laws, man. You know, you, you chose that with that which was evil according to your own vain opinion, and you were deceived thinking that there was not going to be a judgment for those things, all right? Thinking that you were going, going to just, you know, get away with these things in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the creator, the righteous judge, was not going to uh, see you. But it, hey, hey, now it's time, once again, now we are in the time of the Lord's vengeance, man, the Lord's judgment. That man said what? 2020, uh, 2021, no judgment? Well, that's a vain vain opinion man because it's going to be nothing but judgment that is coming forth you know from the from the lord man all right so let's get a, a couple more and we end it out uh where is it please ask these uh 16 please ask these uh please ask the cuss or sirach 16 verse 23 it says he that wanteth understanding will think upon vain things, and a foolish man erring imagination imagineth follies, okay? He that wanteth understanding, and that word wanteth means lacking, okay? When you want something, that means you're lacking it. So it says, he that lacketh understanding will think upon vain things. And that's what this whole world lack on understanding, man. The scripture tells you, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, Okay. A lot of the full of these the, the 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 folly and the foolishness of this world, because that's what this place is promotes. Now, but foolishness and and vain uh vain things, okay. You thinking upon vain things is going to because you have you lack the understanding of the times. You lack the understanding of the will of of the of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay. You lack wisdom and knowledge of understanding that's going to uh make you stable in these times, okay. It says, in a foolish man erring, uh, erring, imagineth follies. Oh, I just want to get my vaccine so I can go party again, so I can go travel, I can go do this, this, and that. While all the while, more evils are growing upon the earth, man. You would think 2020 will make people more consider more of their of their wickedness, make people consider, well, why did this all this happen? What what is what is the creator, you know, trying to tell us? But no, they just continue to think. And imagine more follies, man. They're trying to find out ways to go back into their follies. So what the Lord said, that hey, <laughs> that uh, 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 you shouldn't be stricken anymore, man. It's just going to just be the time, you know, he scored you for your amendments. But what? You continue to still do the evil. So now the judgment, the wrath, his indignation shall return. I mean, shall go forth and shall not return, man. He's not going to let up. All right. It's not going to be something that you can just say, oh, well, you know, the Lord, you know, uh, uh, jacked us up, but we got through it. And now, you know, now it's back to just doing the wickedness. Nah, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be continuous and, and more painful until that great and dreadful day of the Lord, man. All right. Upon the wicked. Um, let's see. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 14, for the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind, like a thin froth that is driven away with the storm, like a, like as a smoke which is dispersed here and there with a tempest and passeth away as the remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day. Okay, so that's what the hope of the ungodly is, man. It's nothing. It's, just, it's like what once we read before, it's like the giving up of the ghost is dead. It says, but the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord and the care of them is with the most high. And that's why we continue, you know, no matter what, you know, we follow the land, whether so where we go with, man, we could, we try to do 
the uh, will of the Most High so that we can be pleasing in his sight. So that when the time of trouble does come, when the time of his wrath does come, he remembers our works, he remembers our faith, and he uh, uh, you know, has mercy upon us, man. But all in all, the, the, the Lord is going to judge, man. All right? The wicked... And he's going to judge the righteous. All right. So which side are you going to be on? Well, the, the, you can tell a lot of people because of their vain opinions, they're going to be on the side of the, of the of the wicked judgment because they have not thought upon and considered what is right in the eyes of the most high. OK, they have only said what is right in their own eyes, man. There is a way that seems right into the man to a man. But the end thereof is death. All right. Um. This is uh, yep, Wisdom of Solomon 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide in him. All right, the love, love of the truth, man. Okay, we have chosen to love the truth, love the gospel. It says, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. The elect is who he's going to have care upon. And you're going to see how much the Lord cares upon about his elect in the days to come. All right, 2021 is not going to be a year for everybody to be laughing and joyous and ha ha and giddy giddy. Nah, man, the the elect are going to shine. All right, the elect is going to shine in in 2021, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh that's what I believe. Is the Lord is going to make a distinction upon righteousness and wickedness. It says, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. All right. Um, yeah, so I think that was, yeah, was that it? 5 and 11. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go, man. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own vain imaginations, man. All right. Which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. So, all right. So, we got ended there. You know, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect. All right. Hey, you saying good riddance to 2020. All right. But understanding that 2021, according to the will, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, of his of his uh plagues going out and not returning is only going to compound and get worse for the wicked man. But it, it should be well with the righteous. So with that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakudash. Till next time, Shalom.